From the Rhine Papyrus, we have a number of examples of ancient Egyptian geometric computation. The examples are fairly clear, but they do provide us with some difficulties in the interpretation of the words involved. For example, one of the problems is that Achmos computes the area of a triangle with a base of 4 chet and a mirt of 10 chet. So there are many unfamiliar words here, but we do know that a chet is a unit of length, about 150 feet. And Achmos computes the area, takes half of 4 to get 2, and then multiplies by 10 to get 20, the area. And if we think about our area formula for a triangle, this suggests that the term mirt must mean the altitude of the triangle. And that makes perfect sense until you look at the picture that accompanies the problem. And we can read the hieratic number 4, which indicates our base here, and the hieratic number 10, which indicates the mirt. And given the picture, there is no reasonable interpretation of mirt other than the side of a triangle. And so here's the problem. While reading mirt as altitude makes Achmos's computation correct, the figure shows the mirt should be read as side and so Achlos's computation of the area should be regarded as incorrect, except he might not be computing area. In other words, the problem may be the mistranslation of the word area. We tend to think about area as a geometric quantity, but a common use for a computation like this is valuation of land for purposes of taxation. This is called a cadastral account, and while these quantities appear to be and are often called by the same names as geometric quantities like area, perimeter, and so on, they're a purely legal concept suitable for use by government officials. We'll see more examples of this type of cadastral computation as we go along. So if we want to think about parcels of land, another type of parcel of land might be trapezoidal. And so Achmos also talks about the area of a truncated triangle with base 6 ket, mirt 20 ket, and 4 ket, the truncating line. And Achmos's computation, we're going to add 4 and 6 to make 10, divide by 2 to get 5, and then multiply by 20 to get 100, the area. And again, this computation is correct if we regard the mirt as the altitude of a trapezoid. But again, Achlos's figure is consistent with the idea that mirt is the length of one side. How about circles? Oddly enough, Achlos computes the volume of a cylinder before finding the area of a circle. And Achlos does the following computation to find the area of a circle with a diameter of 9 ket. And so Achlos takes away 1 ninth of the diameter, leaving 8 ket, then multiplies 8 by itself to obtain 64, the area. Now there's a lot of speculation over how the Egyptians derived this result, all of which is, well, speculation. More importantly, this leads to a rather contentious question, which is, who discovered pi? If we compare the Egyptian formula for the area of a circle to our own, we find the following. Our formula, pi r squared, and Achmos's formula will be the square of 8 ninths of the diameter. And since the diameter is twice the radius, we can substitute, simplify, and here's the odd part, solve for pi, and we get And you'll see in many sources that the Egyptians approximated pi with 3.16. But did they? And here's the thing to remember. In the context of geometry, pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. This ratio appears nowhere in Egyptian mathematics. At no point do the Egyptians ever compare the circumference of a circle to its diameter? And so we have to say that the Egyptians did not have a value for pi. They had a way of computing the area of a circle. And the area they found might have been a cadastral one, 
not a geometric one. And finally, there's one last bit of Egyptian geometry. There's a claim that the ancient Egyptians made right angles by making a 3, 4, 5 triangle with a knotted rope. Now the evidence for the claim is below. And, uh, well, actually, there's no evidence that the ancient Egyptians did this. And, in fact, there's no evidence that the Egyptians were aware the 3, 4, 5 triangle was right-angled.